If we could move on now to um, page 17, Councillor Kitkat. I believe you have a letter. Would you like to come forward? Thank you. <coughs> Councillor Kitkat, would you like to take a moment to speak on your letter? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, well, the letter concerns the continued development of, of the Brighton Centre site, and um, I, I warmly welcome the continued activity that, that is underway there. Um, I understand it recently been announced the, um, the call for tenders on design work, which is underway, um, and I completely agree with your statements in this uh, month's edition of City News. Um, the Brighton Centre redevelopment will be key to jobs, and we certainly want a beautiful, high-specification building. But in talking to the residents and the business owners in my wards, they do express deep concern over what this project holds for them. Is it going to be sensitive and considerate to the residents' needs, and is it going to be sensitive to the conservation-grade townscape that surrounds it? So the letter I've submitted to the Cabinet asks, how can we involve local people and their representatives in the process of developing the plans for this site? And I suggest that perhaps this could be done through public meetings, consultation, and regular communication with ward members and groups like the Conservation Advisory Group. And, and so really, uh, Madam Chair, I just hope that this letter could be the start of a dialogue to avoid any inappropriate proposals coming before the Planning Committee and that we can ensure the best outcomes for all, the city overall, the residents, and the, the traders in the area. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. I absolutely agree with you, Councillor Kitker, that Brighton Centre is critical to the city's continued economic well-being, which is why, as an administration, we have made it our number one priority. With all major projects, there is an accepted protocol about how we consult at the various stage, key stages of development, including the feasibility studies. The Council adopted a supplementary planning document for the Brighton Centre in 2004, which was widely consulted upon. This included a long-running exhibition in Churchill Square. The factors that you refer to in your letter, Councillor Kitkat, such as the need to respect the existing listed buildings, the pedestrian environment and the impact of development on the townscape are all referred to within the SPD. In addition, the Brighton Centre Steering Group will in due course be, develop, be setting up an advisory consultation panel to work with the developer and council to input into the feasibility stage work. This will be done once a design team is up and running in the next two or three months. I have been advised by officers that as was councillors for the area, you and Councillor Rufus will be invited onto the panel. A consultation strategy will also be produced and sent to Councillor Kemble for agreement. As you are probably aware, we are still some way away from pre-planning discussions on the Brighton Centre. However, I am confident that the consulta consultation done to date will continue through the pre-planning and formal planning stages and that we will get the, a world-class redevelopment that I am sure everybody in the city really wants. Is there anything you wanted to come back to say, Councillor Kitkat? Um, well, I, I'm aware of the 2004 document, and um, you know, I'm grateful of your commitment to moving forward. The consultation um, continues. I, I just recognise that um, the economic calculus for the Brighton Centre has changed, and hence perhaps many of the factors in that supplementary document are no longer current. And I do think we need to, to recognise that, that not only has the Brighton Centre project changed, but so has the surrounding area. Um, in, in the five years since it was published. So I just hope we can recognise that. I thank you for your commitment and I look forward to working uh, with you on this project. Thank you, Councillor. I'm sure the officers will note your concerns. Thank you.